In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My sisters and brothers, let's look into our hearts, see and acknowledge our sins, have appropriate sorrow for them, and ask God to forgive our little sins. Lord Jesus, we join you in giving thanks to the Father for giving us life and new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we thank you for becoming one of us, for living among us, for dying for us, and for forgiving us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we thank you for continuing to forgive us our sins as often as in contrition we ask for forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. And on this feast day of St. Matthias, the man chosen to replace Judas, because it is a full feast, we say the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us, through his intercession, that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Who then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent, and they listened, while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, Jesus responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as it is written, After this I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. 
from its ruins, I shall rebuild it and raise it up again so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplished these things known from a mold. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals in blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town as he has been read in the synagogue every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Our response is, Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. My sisters and brothers, if we want heaven, we can't wait to like before we love. In our gospel passage, Jesus tells us how to complete our lives. Live the commandments. And of course, we are told all the commandments are summed up in the great commandment, love. Love God above all things and love our neighbor as ourself. Okay, got to love all. And we've got to love the way Jesus loves, sacrificially. And we learn a third piece of love this morning in our little story. It comes from the Peanuts cartoon strip. Peanuts goes to Snoopy and says, Hey, Snoopy, don't go to Lucy Brown's house today. She's having a crab in. Well, Snoopy leaves immediately and walks over to Lucy's house, knocks on the door, and when Lucy answers, he gives her a big, wet, doggy kiss. And he turns around with a big smile on his face and walks away thinking that's the way to break a crab in. 
The third piece of love, love sacrificially like Jesus did all, is don't wait. We must initiate the love. Hard stuff. My sisters and brothers, if we want heaven, we can't wait to light before we love. Let us stand for our intercession. For the church, may the Lord raise up saints to lead all of us to holiness and faith, we pray to the Lord. For the world, may the grace of the Lord transform hearts to see the dignity of every person and the sanctity of creation, we pray to the Lord. For all those whose labor and faith is known only to the Lord, may God strengthen and sustain them and may St. Matthias intercede for them, we pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may the Holy Spirit give each of us the grace to fully answer our particular call to holiness, we pray to the Lord. For all the sick, especially those sick with coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may the Lord welcome them into his eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. And now in silence, let's offer our own prayers to our infinitely loving God. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, we ask you to look deeply into our hearts Find out exactly what it is that we truly need. Please give it to us, and then give us the courage to do something beautiful with it. We ask all of this in your Son's name. Amen. Blessed are you, the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church. Reverently presented for the, on the, for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them, strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. 
For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightfully gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself. So that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Holy Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts. Which we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Matthias and all your saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance to the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, Gregory our Bishop, 
the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, And to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Christ. The body of 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 Christ. Sydney, please come to the altar. Take the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Give him to your wife with great love. Let us pray. Gloriously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have been viewed with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. For all of you at home, remember, you get a spiritual communion, you get all the graces that you would have gotten had you been here and received communion. Fortunately, this weekend, we can have 25% capacity in church, so we can have about 200 to 250 people in church at each Mass, and we still retain the two additional Masses, so we have seven total Masses. So, I look forward to seeing you. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace and love to serve God through each other. Have a wonderful day.